Thank you very much, Mr. Chair and, and Director Young. Thank you for being here. Um, I just wanted to just point out a couple of things. President Biden's budget seems to really cater to the fringes of the party um, without taking into consideration uh, what's best for the American people. And uh, just this week, the EPA announced a new rule effectively forcing consumers to buy electric vehicles over gas. And it's it's flawed for so many reasons. And I'm from a rural area. And, you know, first of all, the electrical grid may not be able to handle all of these changes. It will increase our reliance on China as they control the EV battery and mineral supply chain. The auto, the auto industry made it clear that this plan is going to hurt them. Um, and this kind of switch may actually be nearly impossible for rural America, um, where people regularly drive long distances and there are fewer charging stations and there's a real concern about the performance of the batteries in cold weather. Uh, we saw that uh, not that long ago. Um, so I'm just kind of curious as to how much of the funding in the president's budget between the increases for the EPA and the Department of Energy will be used to produce agency rules that remove everyday consumer goods, such as the gas-powered cars, gas stoves, and gas furnishes from the marketplace, because it really seems like there's been a lot of rules that are affecting people like with those kinds of things. Uh, Congresswoman, the bill released last night that hopefully you'll be voting on Friday, I think speaks to uh, the fact that no one is going to be banning gas stoves um, as far as... Okay, well then take that part of it out of it. Say, okay, so what are the rules going to be on the, on the cars? We'll take the gas stoves out, gas furnaces. Well, EPA finalized, I think you're referring to the tailpipe rule. Now... Uh, let the EPA administrator speak to the details of tailpipe rule, but from an investment standpoint, ensuring that communities uh, have the charging stations they need to make this transition, because we believe climate change is an existential crisis to the budget, um, look how much we spend on disasters, that we are putting the infrastructure in place uh, in order to support uh, more electric vehicles to ensure that uh, we do something about climate change. But does it address at all those issues that I mentioned? Driving long distances, um, you know, the performance of a, of a battery. I mean, we saw, I saw it on the news um, two months ago, I think it was, well, uh, where these batteries were not performing and people were being stuck and they couldn't get them charged. And, and there are huge issues with those, but, they can, but these departments, and the question was about how much are they going to commit to those, writing these rules? And, and maybe, you know, maybe you just talk about in general because there's been just a proliferation of these rules that are banning things and really getting at things because obviously they can't get them passed through the through Well, the Congress. I, I just think, uh, think um, what I said is if the questions are specific on tailpipe rule, um, I will let EPA explain its own rule. But I will say uh, as far as infrastructure, we do have budget uh, budget space through the Inflation Reduction Act to make sure we have the infrastructure to deal with those issues you just pointed out, people who need more charging stations. I'm also from a town of less than 2,000. Uh, we want to see that infrastructure. Uh, rural communities should not be left behind. Uh, last time I went to my home state, I saw charging stations in places, uh, frankly, I never thought I'd see charging stations in. So that work is happening. Uh, all across this country, there's more to do, and we're committed to making those investments. Will there be, I mean, in the budget that the, that the president has uh, proposed, does it allow, I mean, how much of it is going to be used to write those rules that infringe on people's uh, ability to make consumer choices? Well, or we, any don't, of the rules? we don't believe our regulatory uh, actions in fringe, we think they improve different points of, of life for Americans. Um, specifically about tailpipe, we think it's going to lead a, a, a hugely to the need to address emissions uh, in this country, and I appreciate their difference opinions, a difference of opinions, um, but also health uh, outcomes of children who suffer from asthma. Uh, there's a reason uh, the, the Lung Association and other healthcare organizations supported that rule, um, but. Agency budgets are in here that support rulemaking. Uh, EPA's uh, operations account certainly supports uh, employees who do that rulemaking. I have an office. And I'm going to have to reclaim my time yep. because I do have one follow up question, um, and I'm almost out of time. I wasn't paying attention. Um, how much, you know, there's, there's obviously these switches 
whether it be gas stove, you know, uh, battery power, uh, EVs. How does the president's budget account for the cost to the consumer, to those middle class families? Because EVs are still very expensive. You know, it could pretend the cost of changing a stove over or any of those items um, is expensive. No, and no how one do we has any. For it? Yeah, no one has any intention of banning uh, gas stoves. Okay, uh, right. but but the other a, programs. Yes, that, but that is why the Inflation Reduction Act uh, provided tax credits for. for Americans who want to buy, uh, but if they can't even vehicles. afford it, if they can't begin to afford it, I mean, the tax credits are one thing, but they can't even start to afford these things. And and I don't understand how we are going to continue to impose these uh, ridiculous rules and uh, things on people. But I am out of time. Generally.